Using Graphisoft Eco Designer, architects can easily analyze their designs for energy efficiency at an early stage, providing invaluable feedback on the building's energy performance. This means the architect can make better decisions on how to conform to regulations and satisfy the interests of the client and the operator of the building. Ultimately, with energy efficiency, everybody wins. Let's have a look at this residential project and experience how EcoDesigner can help architects bring better design decisions to the initial design phase. The architect has just started the design of the building. Currently, it has a basement and two floors above. It's also visible from the 3D view that this first design scheme has a flat roof. The plans and 3D views provide a good overview of the architectural design and the overall look of the building. However, these project views do not provide much feedback on the overall energy balance of the building. It would be desirable to receive a quick energy evaluation at this early design stage and to consider these results while developing the project design. Graphisoft Eco Designer is ready to perform a quick energy evaluation within seconds. It's clearly visible that the total annual energy consumption is over 54,000 kilowatt hours. The specific energy consumption of the project is over 235 kilowatt hours per square meter. The carbon footprint, the CO2 emission resulting from the operation of the building, is over 13,000 kilograms of CO2 per year. We can save this energy balance evaluation sheet as a PDF document and use it later to see how the energy balance of the design changes. Let's return to EcoDesigner and have a look at some possibilities that can influence the energy balance of this project. For now we will not change anything in the design itself but will use contemporary energy efficient structures. In other words, we will change some of the energy related characteristics of the external structures. Let's switch to the structures page of EcoDesigner. The building shell elements lists all the applied structures. Let's improve the thermal properties of the masonry work in the project by selecting a masonry type with better thermal properties. We are free to use the built-in material catalog of EcoDesigner or we can also specify the thermal properties of structures manually if necessary. For now, we will select a masonry type from this list. As you can see, the U value has been updated automatically for all similar masonry shell elements in the project. In EcoDesigner for ARCHICAD 14, it is possible to use the U value override function to define the heat transmission coefficient of the building structures directly as well. Let's also improve the thermal properties of the concrete structures. Again, we will select a concrete type which has improved thermal properties. The changes will be immediately visible in the structures page of EcoDesigner. Let's start the evaluation again. The energy balance sheet will be displayed in seconds. Notice the huge difference in energy consumption of the building. Both the annual as well as the specific energy consumption have been reduced by more than 30%. The carbon footprint has also been reduced from 13,000 to close to 10,000 kilograms of CO2 per year. All of this enormous difference is due solely to the improvement of the thermal properties of the two building structures. Please don't forget that improving the thermal properties of the openings can also cause similar significant improvements in the energy balance of the building. We can save this energy balance evaluation sheet as a PDF if we wish. Let's continue the design development and replace the flat roof with a pitched roof in the project. We will not change anything in the thermal properties of the building structures this time. Let's open EcoDesigner again and start the energy evaluation. The energy balance evaluation sheet will be displayed shortly. As you can see, the yearly annual and specific energy consumption values are a little higher and the carbon footprint has also been increased slightly if the building has a mono-pitched roof. 
The conclusion is that the flat and pitched roof design alternatives will not greatly affect the energy balance of this particular design project, since we used similar material properties for both roofs. Let's go back to the project once again. We will not modify the material properties or the shape of the roof this time. We will add some solar panels on the top of the roof to help with hot water production. Let's open EcoDesigner once again. At the MEP Systems and Energy page, we can set the required hot water generation temperatures and select the cooling and ventilation type. On the Green Energy page, we can activate the solar collectors, define their area, and select Space Heating and Hot Water Generation to specify their targets. We must also specify the orientation and tilt angle of the collector panels. Let's start the evaluation once again. The energy balance evaluation sheet will be displayed shortly. As you can see, there are further improvements in all the annual energy characteristics, and the carbon footprint has also been further reduced. The amount of energy collected by the solar panels appear as recovered energy, green bars, on the supplied energy side of the monthly energy balance bar chart. Let's have a closer look at the monthly energy balance graph. Notice that there are no more dark green regions below June, July, and August. The energy generated by the solar panels greatly reduces the energy input required to generate hot water. Let's return to EcoDesigner and have a look at some possibilities that can influence the energy balance of this project. Let's insert a heat pump to the project. Heat pumps can be used to utilize renewable energy through air, ground, or water. Let's select groundwater for the renewable energy source of the heat pump. Let's define heating for its target and 15 kilowatts for its capacity. In other words, we will use a groundwater supplied heat pump for the heating of the building. Furthermore, let's use the same heat pump for cooling the building in the summer months. Let's start the evaluation once again and investigate the results of the energy balance evaluation sheet. The yearly total consumption is around 18,000 kilowatt hours. Remember that this value was over 54,000 kilowatt hours in the first design. The yearly total energy cost has been reduced from 3,000 euros to 1,800 euros. This is a savings of 1,200 euros on energy in just one year. Any client would clearly understand this design argument. The yearly specific energy consumption is only 78 kilowatt hours per square meter now, compared to over 235 kilowatt hours per square meter in the previous design. The carbon footprint is close to 6,200 kilograms of CO2 per year. This is a huge reduction from the original 13,000 kilograms of CO2 per year value. Let's have a closer look at the monthly energy balance graphs as well. Please notice that there are hardly any blue areas at the lower part of the graph. This means that there is virtually no need to use any supplied heat source in this building. Heating is provided by the solar collectors and the heat pump. While the collectors also produce the energy needed for hot water generation, and the heat pump is switched to cooling mode during the warm summer months. As you can see, both the heat pumps and solar collectors can be used to produce energy for multiple purposes simultaneously. Graphisoft Eco Designer provides energy sensitive feedback at any stage of the design by performing a dynamic energy calculation and producing a graphical evaluation of the energy consumption.